All right, we are back at it again with another digital collectible video. And in this one, I was requested to do a Polygon video and how to send it to your wallet so you could buy McFarland toys digital. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right in. And I hope this one really helps out folks out there. Um, so with that being said, let's go over to MetaMask here. This is one of the most popular options to, you know, as a wallet for crypto and NFTs. And it's super easy to download. All you have to do is just download this to your Chrome browser or whatever browser you're using. And it's the same process process on your mobile phone. They do have a mobile app as well, and they are pretty much the same process. You just download it. You know, if you've ever downloaded an app on your phone or a Chrome extension, then you know what to do here. And once that's downloaded, it'll ask you to create a new wallet. And here's kind of a sneak peek of what it kind of looks like in the Chrome, you know, web uh, store there. You can just click add to Chrome, go through the prompt and all that good stuff. And they even have this like tutorial area, which I can drop down in the description below, you know, getting started with MetaMask if you want that information and it'll ask you after you download it that to create a new wallet it's like the only option you can do or if you already have a, a wallet downloaded or backed up somewhere you can obviously back up your wallet as well but you know obviously you want to create a new wallet if you're brand new and go through that prompt you definitely want to back up your recovery phrase in case anything were to happen to either your computer or your phone so you can in, at any point in time re-download metamask and back the wallet back up and you're good to go for advanced users you might want to go the extra mile and put your recovery phrase on a metal you know tab here where they sell these on like ledger's website which is one of the most popular you know basically choices for uh you know storing your digital assets there's other options out there so you don't have to get this one but this is just an example but this is something that you know if you are worried about your home getting damaged by water or fire this could be another option for you you know you can even put this in a you know bank deposit vault or whatever you could go even crazier to the next level Level. It just depends on how, you know, comfortable you are with all of that. Uh, but with that being said, they have some beginner courses as well on the learn.metamask.io website here. What is Web3? What is a crypto wallet? The area of digital identity? What is self-custody and why that's important? And the advent of digital ownership. And again, this is just the basics of getting started in the Web3 space. If you're brand new, highly recommend you kind of go through this if you want to learn more about all of that and, you know, why it's important to understand these principles. With that being said, there's a couple ways you can add Polygon to your MetaMask. So once you have it set up, um, it'll look a little bit like this right here. Um, and it'll basically be defaulted to the Ethereum mainnet. So we're going to switch over to Ethereum out of the box right there. Um, we're also going to go ahead and just go to this tab right here. This is actually technically the easiest way. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can add a Polygon to MetaMask right here using the website. So in the drop down menu, you can use Polygon and just add the network to MetaMask. Now, sometimes this doesn't work and, you know, or if you've already had Polygon maybe downloaded and you forgot, um, you can check on your wallet right there. I actually, I think I already have this one downloaded. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm just going to delete it uh, for this example. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go over to MetaMask and you'll just click on this little drop down menu. And once you click drop down, it'll ask if you want to add a network down here on this button. And all you have to do is just click add network. And once you have that selected, it It'll take you to this page and you can see one of the first options is going to be Polygon Mainnet. And you can also go over here to the search bar and search for Polygon as well. And it'll pull up Polygon through the search bar and you can click add and it'll ask you these details. You can also screenshot this or save this to your computer or your phone and add all of this information manually. Um, so you have that information on file. But anyways, all you have to do is just click approve. And once you have that in your network, it'll be in your MetaMask wallet. And it'll ask if I want to switch to Polygon and we can switch over there and it'll show you how much Polygon I have. And that's that simple. So step one, download the wallet, back it up. Step two is add Polygon to your MetaMask. And step three, what we'll want to do is buy some Polygon. And there's a couple ways you can actually do that. Uh, MetaMask actually has an option where you can actually buy crypto directly through MetaMask itself. And there's a few regions that it's available to. So again, this is like a one-stop shop for doing everything you know, basically inside the wallet. Another option is if that's not available to you, you can just literally use, you know, popular exchanges like Coinbase. They pretty much all have Matic or Polygon basically on their exchange. And all you have to do is click buy Polygon. And all you have to do is enter the amount of dollar amount that you want to buy. 
and it'll show you a preview window of how much Matic that is. And once you have that bot, basically you can send it to your Polygon uh, wallet. And all you have to do to do that is click this little copy button and it'll just copy that. And you wanna paste it in right there. And it'll say two and you just paste it in and you just click continue. But at first you wanna make sure that this Polygon asset is selected though in this first menu right here in this first box. And all you have to do that is just search Polygon in this area, but it's already pre-selected so we don't need to do that. But just be sure that you have that selected and you just click send, you know, however much Matic you wanna send. You can switch back and forth so you can be sure you send the right exact amount of Matic uh, right there using this little flipper. So if you want to see the Matic number or the US dollar amount, you can do either one. And it's that simple. Also on the next screen here, it'll ask you what network you want to send it to. And it'll even give you a amount of time it's expected to that payment to be received into your wallet and the network fee and the total amount you want to send. So be sure to select that Polygon network right there. It may default to that, but just be sure you check that network. And all you have to do is click send now. So again, just to recap, step one, download back up MetaMask. Step two is going to be adding Polygon to your MetaMask wallet, which I showed you a couple different ways. You can go to the Polygon website and add here, or you can just add it literally with through the actual MetaMask wallet with a couple of clicks. And then you just go to Coinbase or any popular exchange or MetaMask themselves to buy some Matic. And the last option or the last kind of step here is literally just going in and buying the collectibles. So how we do that is we just go over the McFarlane uh, digital website here. And all you have to do is just click, click connect wallet and that's how you buy these digital collectibles on McFarland. so just a few steps not too bad at all with that being said the viewer app is you know you can connect your wallet over there that's also easy to do and I can do that in a different video you definitely want to connect that though because you want to be able to earn XP and have that connected to your account you can also do other things with your MetaMask wallet by going to the secondary as well so in this example what we're gonna do is just take a look at the marketplace here and you can do that by just going to the McFarland digital website and scrolling down and you can either explore all or check the activity on these or you can even go over here to the collection and just click on any one of those so for this example we're going to click on spawn digital uh, the collection over here and you can sort through these different options you know low to high you have the different collections you can sort by right here as well and you can have different grid listing you can even select Selected here listed items only that people are listed uh, for sale you can even see down here you can sort by the lowest price and the highest price and all kinds of different things there super easy to do and again super easy to connect to this app as well this is powered by rarible um, as well but very very intuitive and not too hard to use literally just says buy now um, if you have the right amount of Matic in your wallet and that's how you'd buy on the secondary as well drop a comment down below Below if you want more tutorials like this and what kind of tutorials you are needing help with. But that's all I got for this one. Hope you enjoy and be like a digital collectible, be authentic, and I'll catch you later.